Why shouldn't you become a music producer? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about a few tips on why you should not become a music producer. What's Property Music Gang? If you want more videos on tips and tutorials on music production, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With any job you do, there's always a, a couple negatives. With me doing this video, I'm not telling you don't become a music producer because I love doing it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just gonna go across a few negatives that I feel like will push people away from actually becoming a music producer. First tip, let me go ahead and just jump into it right now. A lot of people, a lot of artists, a lot of other producers, they don't even know how much they get paid. You know, you might be dealing with an independent producer or artist and they don't even know how to pay you or they might not even know how to set up the system to make sure that they get paid. You know, that's one of the biggest reasons why that kind of turned me off from working with a lot of other people. A lot of them don't even have their own stuff set up and it makes me mad because you know you know what's the point of just you know don't get me wrong making music is fun you would eventually want that to pay your bills you know what i'm saying you know i me in my mind i don't think like oh I, i'll just keep working a job or something and to get that to pay my music and stuff like that i would want the music to pay everything you know what i'm saying and you should have that same mindset, especially if that's what you love. Me personally, I don't even want to deal with someone that don't even have their, their back ends and stuff set up. Cause then I got to teach you about it. I got to uh, tell you about it. And you know what I'm saying? Some certain things you got to pay for like distro kid or something like that. Song trust. If you're watching this video and you don't have any of that stuff set up for yourself, three things you need set up. Song trust, distro kid, and sound exchange. There's multiple different copyrights that you can collect on and get paid from music. I think there's like six different copyrights, you know, and each one of those like DistroKid, SongTrust, SoundExchange, each one of those services collect on different copyrights to make sure you get paid. And if you want to sign up to any of those services, a link will be in my description so you can check them out for yourself. And it, it just baffles me how so many people want to get into music, but you don't want to set up the system to get paid off the stuff. You know what I mean? If you're like me and you want to read more knowledge on this, on this kind of stuff to make sure how much people get paid, how much you get paid, how record labels even work, make sure you check out this book called All About the Music Industry. You can listen to it for free. Just click the link down in my description and you can listen to it. Right now, I'm just going to get something to eat. I don't know about you guys, but I'm hungry. Shout out to my, my fiance. She's recording the video right now. You know what I'm saying? If you want uh, videos on like entrepreneurs, side hustles you over there doing legendary content there will be a link in the description to her channel if you want to uh check that out but yeah like i said we're going to wing style real quick you know what i'm saying i love wings let me know what's your favorite wing flavor in the comments let me know i would say me personally man honestly i don't even know i just like wings i just like chicken wings period i don't know but i'm about to give me a big old basket full of wings i'm hungry i'm starving Oh yeah, and stick around to the end of the video to enter the chance to win Omnisphere. If you want to win that and if you don't have Omnisphere, it's perfect for music creators. So stick around to the end of the video to figure out how to enter that giveaway. All right, so another thing I forgot to mention with the first tip was that, like I said, when they, they don't really know how much, you know, you're supposed to get paid. Same thing with engineers. You know, if you're engineering for somebody or, and you don't charge them with the upfront free, you're honestly entitled to a percentage. You know what I'm saying? Especially if that's your gear, your hardware that they recorded on, you spent your money and your investment on that. You know, make sure I, make sure you check out the book I was talking about earlier. You're entitled to a percentage, even if that's not even your beat. It's up to you from that point on, if you want to charge them on that percentage while that's your beat too. Normally I don't, um, but if when it's my beat, but if it's not my beat, then I would definitely charge them a percentage. Now, if they just upload the song without even contacting you, like I've, some people do, from that moment on, I determine if I'm gonna continue working with them or not, because at the end of the day, we're teaming up together. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you don't charge them an upfront fee, you know, you're doing that because you believe in them. And uh, they just take it like it's just a regular song and just uploading it without, you know what I'm saying, connecting you to, you know, the resources, the fruits of the labor and all that, you know what I'm saying? I just cut them off, man. That I don't do business like that. So another reason why you probably don't want to become a music producer, a lot of people want to make money off you. You might know somebody that might know somebody or whatever. You know, I can understand like signing a contract where, you know, they might get a certain percentage. But if I'm if I'm signing a contract under five, ten different people, I'm cool. I'm not trying to do all that. Yes, sir. Say like you got 
um, a big producer, say like you got 808 Mafia, right? And they want to sign you or whatever. So cool, that's cool. Say like they want you to sign under like 15 different people. You know what I mean? Like that's way too many people just to get a, a, a percentage of what I'm doing. I'm not saying that that's what 808 Mafia does or anything. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them. I'm just saying in general, you know, it could be anybody. Just understand, know your worth. You know what I mean? That's why I keep recommending that you guys check out uh, this book all about the music industry. Make sure you guys check that out. A link will be in the description and just read up on some knowledge, especially if you really want this music thing. It's a lot of things you need to know. Okay, so another thing that makes you not really want to become a music producer is sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you might be thinking like, hey man, I feel used sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people wants to work with you and um, a lot of people aren't talking about, hey, let me put some money in your pocket and this, that, and the third, especially like when you don't know the game and stuff like that. But um, don't even look at that and think like, hey man, uh, quit using me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, just think of it as like the long run, you know what I'm saying? Where you're gonna be in the future if you just keep working, keep grinding. Make sure you just learn how, how the game works because if you don't, you know what I'm saying, you will get used, especially in the music industry. There's been countless of times when I've done stuff for free, worked at late, late at nights, you know what I'm saying, with big celebrities and then next thing I know, you know what I'm saying, the people that own the studio upload the song without, you know what I'm saying, connecting me to this stuff. And then I'm not even getting paid on the royalties and stuff like that. And I don't, even, I don't respect that. And now I feel, I feel used because of that. But if I were to stop and give up at that moment, you know what I'm saying, I probably wouldn't be at the mo the place that I'm at now, you know, as far as make making music and producing and stuff like that. You got to be strong in the mind too when you're producing too, because it's a lot of you may come across a lot of no's and stuff like that, and um, don't give up. So with everything that I said, I don't want you to think that a hey, producing is horrible. Don't even think that. There's just, like I said, there's just a few things that are negative about any job that you do. And I'm just going over some of the ones that are for producing. But there's one thing I will definitely encourage you to do if you're a music producer. Not only just make beats, but try even write, writing your own songs. Record your own songs, you know. That's one of the ways that really helped progress me into getting better as a beat maker, writer, artist, producer, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just start to write your own songs and never give up. I, like I said, all the stuff that I named were a few little negatives with the music industry or just making beats, period. There were a lot of benefits to, to making your own beats, period. And that's just a fact. A lot of artists are coming to you for a reason, you know what I'm saying? Because they need you. And hey, if you made it this far, I'm giving away five copies of Omnisphere, which is a great program for music creators just like yourself. If you wanna enter this giveaway, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, follow my Instagram, and share this post that will be in the description. There will be a link in the comments too. Go ahead and share that post and make sure you tag me in it so I can repost it too, why not, you know? Comment done when you're done so I can know for sure that you've done that. And um, just, you know, show much support to me, I will show support back to you, especially to the people that, you know, really show support, you know what I'm saying? I, I'd rather, you know, I don't see why not to give back, you know what I mean? But thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you guys stay safe and remember, it's only a matter of time. Peace.